Rebuilding my relationship with my daughter 13. Story 1. So long story short I had an affair. My daughter was the one who caught me in the act with the other man. It was the worst day of all of our lives. I am not going to make excuses for the affair I know it was wrong. My daughter was always a daddy's girl and she immediately told her father what she saw. That was over a year ago. I moved out for a while and my husband and I decided to try and make it work. I just want my family back. I regret hurting them both immensely. My husband is trying, some days he can barely contain his hate for me other days he wants to make it work and tries to forgive me. It's a roller coaster. My daughter on the other hand is far more consistent. She hates me. Every second of every day for the last year. I've at least had some good days my husband, I've had none with her. When I was moved out she wouldn't speak to me at all she wouldn't return my calls or answer texts, she refused to go anywhere with me, now that I've moved back and she won't speak to me beyond screaming at me that she hates me, I ruined her life, I'm a W or, S ut etc. If my husband and I spend any time alone together she interrupts and demands his attention, if we sit on the couch next to each other she will push herself in between us and cling to her father, she's always telling him he should divorce me, that she will love with him, that they don't need me, if we try and go out together she will call him crying and begging him to come home. She is the light of his life so he always goes running to her whenever she does this. We've tried family therapy but we are making no progress, she won't participate at all and he isn't even sure he can forgive me yet. The other day it was all just too much and I broke down crying in front of her and begged her to forgive me. She screamed at me, she told me she hated me, she was glad I was hurting, she wanted me to suffer, she would never forgive me, I ruined her life, she wished I would die. She is so angry. She hates me more than her father does. I realize I betrayed her too. I realize I was selfish I know I'm a terrible person. I don't even think life is worth living after I betrayed the two people I love most in the world and ruined all our lives. Sometimes I think we would all be better off if I did just die. Maybe she's right. I don't even know if I deserve to be her mother anymore and I know I don't deserve my husband. Will she ever forgive me? And if you are going to tell me what a terrible person I am for cheating trust me I know and nothing anyone can say to me will be worse than what I've already heard. Update spoke to my husband today about making some of the changes suggested in this post. It went well. He agrees we need to do something differently. We are going to switch up the family counseling for individual counseling for her. I offered to drop my IC so he could go and process the trauma but he said he preferred if I stayed in IC and got to the root of why I cheated and developed better coping mechanisms. He said he would go when he felt comfortable I had adequately dealt with that. We went out today as a family. It was almost normal. He seemed happy, she wasn't screaming at me so that's something. I came home and cried, we were almost a normal family again. Almost. Redditor's reactions, Redditor 1, my dad cheated on my mom. I didn't talk to him for a couple years, then wrote him a nasty letter sharing my feelings, and forgave him and got over it. My brother stopped talking to my dad and still only does a couple times a year. It's been 17 years. I think in large part, my brother's reaction is because my dad felt bad for himself and stopped pursuing a relationship. Which made me brother feel unloved. I would say that she might believe she hates you, she might even hate you, but don't disappear. It will always be your job to pursue her. And I think as long as you do, you've got a good chance at reconciliation. Redditor 2, 
killing yourself to escape the consequences of your actions would be even more selfish than having an affair. You created this situation, now you have to see it through. Redditor 3, that's so rough, on all fronts. I can't imagine trying to parent through this while also trying to heal relationships and build trust. I know you said that you'd tried family therapy and that it wasn't working, but what about individual therapy? I'm not sure if you've pursued that route, but maybe each person having an individualized plan and safe place to talk might be more effective for now. I wish you all the best as you rebuild your family. Story 2 Caught my wife cheating on me with her boss who happens to be a celebrity, just like that, my whole life is gone. Her and I have been married for 6 years now but have been together for 15 years. We have one son. We are a gay couple and I never knew she was into men until this happened. I feel like I don't know who she even is anymore. She's not aware that I found out, I'm still not emotionally strong enough for any confrontation right now. I haven't seen her in nearly 4 days, she's not coming home until Friday because of important business matters but I now know that it was a made up lie too. She's probably with her boss enjoying being rich and successful. I only found out because for all of our phone data sync when I updated my phone, and the messages were just there. I can't get it out of my head. I never saw a reason to be suspicious of her because I trusted her so much, we have been together since we were young and she has never done me wrong. I feel so blindsided. I have no one to talk to because she is still my wife after all, and I don't want to hear anyone talk bad about her. I certainly know that this is no longer going to work out. She left me for a man, not another woman, a man. I can appreciate a good looking man when I see one and Hess definitely one of them. I can't compete with him, Hess richer and more successful than me. I've seen him in movies and shows and have met him in real life. He is someone I used to hold so much respect for. I have never felt so disrespected in my life. I don't know where I went wrong, it was all so perfect just like we had planned. We promised our son a good family and she ruined that for him. He is the only one keeping me sane right now. If it weren't for him I would have done something reckless already. She makes more money than me and divorce is going to cost so much. I'm still deciding whether I want to do that right now or not. Perhaps she wants one too. I need to talk to her but if I do then it becomes real and I'm not ready to face it yet. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost. I'm too old to start over again. What woman would want me at this age? And if they did, it'll never be the same connection as I had with her. I failed myself and my son. He shouldn't have to deal with the consequences of her actions and my failure, he didn't ask to be brought into this world. We made a choice and a promise, it didn't get us anywhere. I'm planning to seek therapy and see a lawyer for advice but right now I really just need a friend. Plus, thank you so much for everyone who reached out. I enjoy talking to you guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't reply to all of your messages. There's just so much but I will try. I never expected this to blow up, but my wife will come back on Friday. I'll be seeing a divorce attorney on the same day. I hope I'm able to keep a strong face on and pretend everything is okay. I'm planning to hide that I'm aware of her affair, it gives me one step ahead while I go through with the divorce and that makes me feel so much better. It also gives me more time to gather evidence. Please wish me well.